Is your commute killing you? For many Bakersfield residents, driving to and from work means excruciating back pain. We are so excited tonight to have Bakersfield spinal neurosurgeon, Dr. Armstrong with us. Dr. Armstrong is the founder and the medical director of the Southern California Spine Institute in Westlake Village, Los Angeles, and here in Bakersfield. So thank you so much for coming in to see us tonight. You're welcome. First thing I want to know is, is back pain a fairly common condition? Yes, back pain is probably one of the most common ailments known to man. About 80% of us will have enough back pain to seek medical attention in our lifetime. Why does it seem to be aggravated by driving then? Well, driving, we're sitting. We're sitting in a confined, confined space, right. and sitting for long periods of time puts undue pressure on the back, increasing back pain. How can we manage or even reduce back pain while we're actually driving? Is there a way we can do that? Well, while we're driving, it may be a little bit too late. One of the things you can do while you're driving is take breaks, take frequent breaks. And importantly, I think the cure for back problems while you're driving starts before you drive. Mm stretching, exercises, getting ready for the drive, and then if it's a long drive, taking a break, doing those stretches uh, after maybe even a short period of time, 45 minutes to an hour, something along those lines. We've talked about the commute. What happens when you get to work? A lot of people have to sit at desks for long periods of the day. Can these tips and techniques also work for the back pain that some people get just by being in the office? Absolutely. Sitting in the office is a little bit less stressful than sitting in a car because you're not confined. But I think it's important to uh, sit up, upright, both feet on the ground, in a balanced position, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that your workstation is at a comfortable height, and obviously the best chair that you can uh, use where you have armrests and perhaps tilt and so forth with the chair is optimal. Our friends on Facebook have some questions for okay. you as well. We'll start tonight with Carol. Carol wants to know what exercises are best to strengthen the back and to avoid pain altogether? Yes. Well, I think that is a great question because the way to avoid back problems is through exercise. And I think that's the most important thing one can do. Some of the simple things to do are to strengthen the stomach and strengthen mm. the low back muscles. The core muscles. The core muscles are just critical to back problems. And as we get older, our back wears out mm -hmm. and our muscles become deconditioned. So we end up having more back pain. So conditioning the muscles, Carol's question is pertinent. But conditioning the muscles will help you avoid back problems. Heather wants to know tonight, how can you tell if you have scoliosis? I'm 32, never diagnosed with such a thing. I have occasional back pain. I attribute it to a couple of car accidents when I was younger. Well, scoliosis just means a lateral curve to the spine. It can be very slight or it can be very severe. There's congenital scoliosis, something you're born with, mm -hmm. or very mild scoliosis that you may develop as you get older, degenerative. And the best way to tell is with a simple x-ray. But most scoliosis is relatively benign mm -hmm. and just needs to be followed. Mart would like to know tonight, would the specialist advise against chiropractic adjustments for someone with severe scoliosis? Could surgery be an option for this person at the age of 48? Well, in scoliosis, uh, to break that into two uh, components, I think that chiropractic care can help back problems significantly. So seeing a good chiropractor can be very helpful for long-term back problems. Scoliosis specifically, you would leave up to that professional uh, whether it was severe enough to um, determine you need further treatment. Surgery with scoliosis can be done at any age, mm. and it has to do with whether the scoliosis is progressing Bad and getting enough. worse. I see. And so if it is uh, relatively mild scoliosis, of course, surgery would be the last resort. Dr. Armstrong, thank you so much for coming in tonight, answering my questions and the questions of my friends on Facebook. We hope you'll come back and see us again sometime soon. You bet. Thank, thank you. you so much. And speaking of Facebook, are we friends? On